Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Rob from Panther Vision and today we are going to create a circle that basically contains the R letter and we're going to use the transform tool to um, edit and customize that. So first things first, let's press the letter T or you can select from the menu with the type tool, click and from here so, um, I'm going to go and hit R, uppercase. I basically basically chose the time new romance you can change it whatever you want uh, and I'm basically gonna expand this by clicking object expand okay scale it up shift plus alt and you can scale it up without distorting the letter from here I can basically cut this off and I'm gonna press the oh, basically you can select it from here you know from the menu the rectangle tool or you can press M. I'm gonna select them both and I'm gonna go to the Pathfinder and click to the minus front or if you don't have the Pathfinder then go to the Windows and select Pathfinder so the menu is going to appear somewhere here or somewhere on the Windows. Okay I'm gonna select this, cut it down, I'm gonna ungroup it, delete this small little part and from here, hmm, I'm going to create another box and do the same thing again. Okay, now we have the R ready and steady. From here, I'm going to go to the effects, distort and transform, transform, previews. And now let's start transforming. Of course, I'm going to create like nine copies of this. And from here, I'm going to see that we got a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to decrease this to somewhere around 36. Now it's like perfectly aligned in here. From here, we're going to manipulate this. Okay, we are all ready in here okay uh, it starts to come together it should be somewhere around here in this uh, position and from here I'm gonna click OK and start to manipulate it oh before that I'm gonna do a copy paste uh, press alt and then copy and place place it right here okay I'm gonna press a or press the direct selection tool and with this, we're going to manipulate these lines. I can see we got like more uh, anchor points going on. I'm going to remove it by pressing the P, the pen tool. You can basically select it from here and remove some of the dots. You can see when I move and place uh, the um, pen tool over a anchor point, it's going to show a minus. So we, we want to remove that. From here, I'm going to manipulate these and select these anchor points bring them up here eventually i can see we have like more anchor points going on here i gotta remove those damn and it should be something like that i'm going to pull this a little more further I'm gonna bring this up a little more. I'm just gonna eyeball it basically to see what it's gonna look like. Okay, and from here to add to the anchor points line like this so I can uh, customize them, I'm going to hit this thing right here. Convert selection anchor point to smooth. And we're gonna smoothen this out. Same thing with this. Start to get, get to look really interesting. So basically if I manipulate this line, if I customize this line, every of these elements is going to be customized. For example, if I drag this up here, everything goes in the same way as I customize it here. So 
so it should basically look something like this but it's a little bit more difficult but the main point is uh, the customization with uh, the direct se direct selection tool basically if if you you know do something with the anchor points everywhere is basically going to edit and change every shape so it's a lot of fun you can uh, experiment with a lot of forms and shapes this is a little, this is a little bit more advanced um and yeah try it out try with different and le different letter forms and uh, see what you get so yeah thanks for watching uh, hope it helped don't forget to like and like and subscribe and have a great day bye bye